Hey y'all, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made these DIY hang tags using stuff in my house. It's Ebony and I am back today with a business tip in a DIY. So, you guys, <laughs> I am pretty sure that you guys understand being busy, having so much to do, and just moving around and doing so much at one time that you forget to do the simple stuff. So with me, as you guys know, it's tax season. A lot of people are getting their taxes back. A lot of people are spending with our businesses. So I've been running through hang tags. And y'all, these are literally my last one, two, three. These are literally my last six, seven hang tags. And I have a whole bunch of hair that I need to repackage up. I don't know how it slipped my mind to get hang tags, but it did. So now it's time for another DIY. Well, first things first, um, I honestly just need something with my business logo on it. Now I know the screen is a little bright, but these are actually light pink, the same color as my wall. Um, so what I'm gonna do, this is the box I keep all of my paper in. So I have pink paper. So what you wanna do, you wanna get some cardstock paper. So cardstock paper isn't like regular paper. Um, you get it like in the same section in Walmart that you get regular paper in, like printer paper in. But cardstock, cardstock paper is actually thicker. So you won't have to worry about it bending up and getting all rusty and dusty. So you want to get some cardstock paper that is in the color that matches your business. So the cardstock paper that I have, this is just something I already have in the house. It was a pack of pink and it came in all of these different shades of pink. So for me, as long as it's pink, it's doable. I'm probably not going to use the hot pink, but as long as it's a light shade of pink, this is going to work okay the next thing i'm going to do i'm actually going to print my logo out on this paper so i'm going to put this paper and my printer oh, you guys. so now i'm going to use my laptop and pull up my logo if you had your logo made by a graphic designer, they should have given you a transparent version of your logo. So that would be a logo without a white or black background, without a background at all, just your logo with a clear background. So I found that um, logo on my computer. I right clicked and I clicked on the print button. And then when you click on the print button, um, you know, it always gives you all of these different options. So you have the full page, uh, four by six, five by seven. So it gives you the different options that you can use to print your logo. I'm going to find the one that says, I could use the one that says wallet because the one that says wallet, I don't know if you guys can actually see. The one that says wallet probably ends up being close to this size. I don't really need it to be like huge, huge. I just need it to have the logo on it. So I could print it out in wallet, but I'm thinking about printing it out in the contact sheet version. You know what, I'm gonna print it out in wallet first just to see what it looks like. And then if I don't like it, I'm going to do it in the contact sheet version. So if you open up your, if you have a Windows computer, I don't have a Mac laptop. This is HP. So I cannot tell you anything about an Apple Mac computer. Not, I cannot tell you anything about those. I can only tell you about the computer that I'm actually using. So once, um, so right now I'm going with wallet and the wallet consists of nine 
different photos on one page. So what I'm gonna do down here where it says copy of each picture. So it says copy of each picture right here. I'm gonna put nine. So I'm gonna insert nine as the number. That way it fills up the entire sheet. like and I'm gonna go ahead and print out the first um, picture go ahead and print out the first batch I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut them out into squares. So I'm gonna cut out each part. Y'all gotta excuse my nails because I'm in the process of taking these off so I can get them redone. But, um, so I got done printing them out. So I really, this is really what I want. I just want my logo to be attached to my bundles. Now, the next step would be simply on the back, you can just hand write the inch and the hair type. So you can, like if it's Mongolian Afro Kinky Curly, I would write Mongolian Afro Kinky Curly, and then I put the inch. You can just simply write that on the back, and boom, you have hang tags. But luckily for me, a company did send me um, last year, and I completely forgot about it, and I feel so bad because they sent it to me to review, and I just completely forgot about it. Like, I didn't review anything, and I've just been holding on to it. So it is a label maker. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So like I said, if you don't have a label maker, definitely just handwrite it. Use your neatest handwriting and just handwrite everything on the back. But this is everything it comes with. All right, guys, so I was sent this label maker and I'm not gonna lie, I actually really like it. So at, what you guys are watching right now is me put the label maker together. Now, the cool part about this label maker is that it comes with an app and I'm gonna get ready to show you guys that in a little bit. So all I did, I went to my app store, I typed in the company's name and I downloaded the app and then you are able to then Bluetooth. Um, yeah, turn on your Bluetooth on your phone and it will automatically connect the label maker to the app. And this is what the app looks like. So this was my very first time using it. Um, so what you see me, I'm just playing around with it. So they have different type of labels that you are able to create. Um, as you guys see, you were able to see all of the different categories. And pretty much what you want to do, you want to click on the category. Then you want to click on a template. Um, pretty much that shows how you want the actual label to look when you actually print it out now me y'all i ain't gonna lie it's been a while since i recorded this video and i'm just now editing and uploading it i have no idea what option i chose <laughs> um and i and i guess you guys are gonna see the option i chose but i had completely no idea what i was doing when i used it um but you pretty much just want to choose some sort of option 
um, and start typing in what you would like your label to say and then you're going to pretty much print it out. The final results came out looking like clearly I need to play around with it a little bit more and possibly make the labels um, make the text much bigger but this definitely helps well, all I'm gonna do is take one of these cards that I made flip it over and then add the sticker to it and right, so front of the card back the back of the card and all I'm gonna do is add in the length. So I know the length of this bundle is 18, so I'm just gonna write 18. I get my hang tag. Um, my hang. What do you call this? It's not called a hang tag gun. I forgot what you call this. Tagging gun. So I'm gonna take my tagging gun and attach it to the bundle. And there you have it. So this is just going to have to do for now until I'm able to get some new business cards made.